What is ADHD? ADHD, or Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, is a condition that affects how people pay attention and control their behavior. It's common in both children and adults. Understanding ADHD and recognizing its signs can help those affected manage their symptoms effectively and seek appropriate support. ADHD is typically divided into three types, inattentive, hyperactive impulsive, and combined. Each type has its own set of symptoms. Signs of inattention. One, having a hard time focusing on tasks or play activities. Two, making careless mistakes in schoolwork or other activities. Three, struggling to organize tasks and activities. Four, avoiding tasks that need a lot of mental effort, like homework. Five, often losing things needed for tasks, like books or keys. Six, being easily distracted by unrelated things. Seven, forgetting to do daily activities like chores. Imagine a child named Jake. He often forgets to turn in his homework, loses his school supplies, and gets distracted by the smallest things like a bird outside the window. This might be a sign of inattention. Signs of hyperactivity and impulsivity. One, fidgeting with hands or feet. Two, having trouble staying seated in situations where it's expected, like in class. Three, running around or climbing in situations where it's not appropriate. Four, having difficulty playing quietly. Five, talking too much. Six, interrupting others or butting into conversations. Seven, finding it hard to wait for their turn. Think about Emma. She can't sit still during family dinners, talks nonstop, and often interrupts others during conversations. This could be hyperactivity and impulsivity. Understanding ADHD symptoms. Everyone shows these behaviors sometimes, especially children. But for someone with ADHD, these behaviors are more frequent, severe, and interfere with daily life at home, school, or work. Causes of ADHD. The exact cause of ADHD isn't known, but it's often related to genetics and environmental factors. If you think you or someone you know might have ADHD, it's important to get a professional evaluation. A doctor will usually conduct interviews, use questionnaires, and observe behavior to make a diagnosis. How to manage ADHD. Managing ADHD involves several strategies, including behavioral therapy, medication, and lifestyle changes. Behavioral therapy helps people develop better habits and skills. For example, Sarah works with a therapist to set up a homework routine, break tasks into smaller steps, and use a planner to keep track of assignments. Her therapist might also teach her techniques to stay focused, like taking short breaks and using visual reminders. Medications can also help. They improve focus and reduce impulsivity and hyperactivity. For instance, Alex takes medication that helps him concentrate better at school and stay calm. His doctor monitors his progress and adjusts the dosage if needed. It's important for patients to communicate openly with their doctors about how the medication affects them. Lifestyle changes are also important. Regular exercise, a balanced diet, and enough sleep can make a big difference. For example, Mike finds that a morning run helps him focus better during the day. He also avoids sugary snacks that can make him feel jittery. Good sleep hygiene, like going to bed at the same time every night, helps him wake up refreshed and ready to tackle the day. Parents play a key role in supporting children with ADHD. They can create structured environments, set clear expectations, and provide consistent routines. Positive reinforcement, like praising good behavior, can boost a child's self-esteem. For example, when Lily finishes her chores on time, her parents give her extra playtime, which encourages her to keep up the good work. Parents can also work with teachers to ensure their child gets the necessary support at school. Teachers can support students with ADHD by giving extra time for tests, breaking down assignments, and using visual aids to keep students engaged. For example, 
Mrs. Jones uses colorful charts to help her student Kevin stay on track with his assignments. She also allows him to take short breaks to walk around, which helps him burn off excess energy and return to his tasks with better focus. Adults with ADHD can benefit from workplace accommodations like flexible schedules or quiet workspaces. Joining support groups or working with a coach can also provide valuable resources and encouragement. For example, John finds that using noise-canceling headphones helps him focus better at his job. He also uses a digital planner to keep track of deadlines and meetings. ADHD is a lifelong condition, but with the right support, people with ADHD can lead successful and fulfilling lives. Many individuals with ADHD are highly creative, energetic, and good at problem solving. For instance, Maria uses her high energy levels and creativity to excel in her career as an event planner. She uses visual planning tools and collaborates with colleagues to ensure she stays organized and meets her clients' needs. ADHD can also impact relationships. People with ADHD might struggle with listening and communication, which can lead to misunderstandings. For example, Tom often forgets important dates or details his partner mentions, leading to frustration. Couples therapy or coaching can help improve communication skills and develop strategies to manage these challenges. Partners can also learn to be more patient and understanding, recognizing that ADHD behaviors are not intentional. Developing coping strategies can make daily life easier for people with ADHD. Using reminders, setting timers, and breaking tasks into smaller steps can help manage time and stay organized. For example, Emma sets a timer for 15 minutes to clean her room, which makes the task feel more manageable. She also uses a whiteboard to list her daily tasks and checks them off as she completes them. Mental health is crucial for people with ADHD. They may experience anxiety, depression, or low self-esteem. Seeking therapy and practicing self-care can improve overall well-being. For example, David finds that talking to a therapist helps him manage stress and develop healthier thought patterns. He also practices mindfulness in relaxation techniques like deep breathing and meditation to stay calm and focused. Finding a community of people who understand ADHD can be incredibly supportive. Joining local or online support groups provides a space to share experiences, learn from others, and feel less isolated. For example, Jessica joins an online ADHD support group where she connects with others facing similar challenges. They share tips, celebrate successes, and offer encouragement during tough times. Educating oneself about ADHD is important. Many books, websites, and organizations provide valuable information. For example, the ADHD Foundation and CHAD, Children and Adults with Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, offer resources, support, and advocacy for individuals with ADHD and their families. ADHD is a part of life for many, but it doesn't define a person. With understanding support and the right strategies, Individuals with ADHD can thrive. Embrace the unique strengths that come with ADHD, such as creativity, energy, and problem-solving skills. Celebrate the successes, no matter how small, and continue to seek growth and improvement. If you or someone you know needs more help, please follow for more life coaching tips. Feel free to ask questions or suggest other topics you're interested in. Together, we can navigate the challenges of ADHD and work towards a more balanced and productive life.